tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your district. Well, I'm Mary Franson and I represent District 11B, um, encompassing uh, the, the eastern side of Douglas County and all of Todd County. I grew up in uh, near Duluth, Minnesota in a uh, rural part called Saginaw. I graduated from Albrook High School with about 30 kids in my class, so that was pretty rural, K through 12 school, nine man football team. Um, from high school, I uh, went to UMD where I graduated with a degree in psychology. And during my um, late high school years, early college, I did um, want to pursue politi politics in such a way, if I was asked to run, then I might consider it, but I didn't go to school to be a politician. So I got my degree in psychology, uh, worked for AT&T for a number of years uh, before settling in Alexandria where I ran a licensed daycare. Um, I've got three kids of my own and um, my youngest boys enjoyed the uh, the luxury per se of being to stay at home with their mom while their friends came over every day to play. Of course they saw it as uh, friends over um, and where for me it was like a job. So, <laughs> um, And my, my two boys love them to death but they were always the naughty ones at the daycare so that was always fun. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so when I got asked to run for office, I thought, wow, this is a, the greatest opportunity ever, and ran for the endorsement and won, and uh, started campaigning heavily. My um, district is rural, made up with uh, wonderful people, uh, just great people. They were so supportive in my campaign and brought so much um, energy to my campaign as well. And so when, I, when I'm when i with people in my district and I'm talking to them, it really just re-energizes me and um, reminds me of why I'm here to serve. And what really led you to run for representative? Was there a particular issue or um, what, what really motivated you to do so? Um, well, the election of 2008 really motivated me to, um, instead of sitting on the sidelines and complaining, I really wanted to do something to say that I actually helped um, instead of just saying, well, we should have done that or this should have happened. Um, so if I was involved, then I couldn't do the I should have um, anymore. I did what I could. And so, um, yeah, so I, I ran and I was, oh, before running, I was, um, I started up the 7th District Young Republicans group and so I serve uh, as secretary for that um, district and then also I was a state coordinator for um, my Cockabee's PAC group and then um, that led me um, you know get a little little political experience not much but if you could offer up the first bill of the session what would it be uh, you know there are so many um, ideas I know um, we really need to get jobs in our economy moving and that is huge um, so I would like to see uh, our corporate tax, um, corporate tax eliminated. Um, also, I would like to see voter identification passed through, and also um, get the federal government off our backs and just uh, reinstate the fact that uh, you know we um, we don't have to take our rules from the federal government. Our state is endowed rights, and, and we're going to use that. When the end of session finally rolls around in May, what will determine whether or not you have been a successful legislator? I guess it'll be the people in my district that'll let me know that. If you could sit down and have a conversation with anyone living or deceased, who would it be and what would you talk about? Well, um, my grandfather is deceased. He is, um, he was a, a very passionate guy in politics. He was a Democrat. Um, and so the fact that I am a Republican in office and he uh, was a Democrat running around with um, you know, his friends were Oberstar and Mondale and, and so that would be a very interesting conversation to have. My grandma, she just died a couple weeks ago, um, but I told her that I was running for office and she was so excited and she said, you know, your uncle voted for our new president. <laughs> She was so proud and I, fingers crossed, Grandma, please don't ask me what party I'm running with. <laughs> and she didn't. <laughs> um, so I want, that would be one. Um, and, you know, Ronald Reagan, I know it's very cliche these days. I'm sure a lot of people are talking about Ronald Reagan. But his wisdom that he spoke about in the 80s are so pre prevalent and, and relevant to today's society. So. 
If we can take what Ronald Reagan talked about in the 80s and apply it to today, with his guidance and direction, I'm sure that would just be an awesome conversation.